Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mud a drywall butt joint when using fiberglass mesh tape. The tools that I'll be using in this video are a 12 inch taping knife and a 14 inch drywall mud pan. 6 inch drywall taping knife. And if you keep watching to the end of this video, I'll reveal what texture I'm going to do on the ceiling and also leave a link once I upload the video of how to do that texture. Okay, I've already got the fiberglass mesh tape up, so just make sure it sticks real good to the drywall nice and flat. Now what you want to do is just get a little bit of drywall mud on the corner of your knife. Don't get a whole bunch on your whole knife or you're going to have a mess. And then just keep it nice and tight, not too thick. and just wipe it smooth. On the first coat, always use a quick setting joint compound, which is the powder form. Do not use the all-purpose joint compound per manufacturer's recommendations. Once the quick setting joint compound is dry, I like to take my six inch knife and scrape down the center just to keep it flat. Place your taping knife across the joint to check for flatness. I'll be using all-purpose joint compound for the second coat. For the right side of the joint, you want to keep the mud on the right side of your taping knife. For the left side of the joint, you want to keep your mud on the left side. You don't want to pile up mud in the middle. You want to keep the mud a minimum so you get a nice flat joint. Now that you've got the mud up, you just want to smooth it out. Apply the pressure to the right side lifting on the left. Then apply the pressure to the left side lifting on the right. I'll check it again for flatness. Needs a little more mud. Pretty flat though. All right, I'm gonna smooth it out one more time, taking most of it off the middle and just floating the outside on both sides. Once the butt joint is smoothed out, let dry. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and also click that bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Once the second coat is dry, I hit the outside edges with all-purpose joint compound so I'll have minimal sanding. I'll use my 12-inch taping knife to show you how flat this butt joint is. It don't get much flatter than that. So the ceiling texture is going to be a skip trowel texture done by hand. I'll leave a link in the YouTube card above to the skip trowel video once I have it uploaded. I'll leave links in the description below to some of my favorite and popular videos and playlists. I'll also leave links to all the tools I used in this video. And if you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. And if you have a friend that's a DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Check out one of these videos down below.